this video we will learn how to solve a problem in fluid mechanics particularly in fluid flow measurement so we have here this problem a flowing stream of gasoline with a specific gravity of 0.69 has a pitostatic tube inserted to it if the gasoline that goes through the tube is 65 millimeter higher than the surface of the gasoline stream what is the coefficient of velocity assuming that it has an actual velocity of 0.183 meter per second? So we have listed first here the known values in this problem. So we have the known value, the specific gravity which is 0.69, the height of the gasoline in the tube that surpasses the surface of the stream which is 65 millimeter or also equivalent to 0.065 meter and the actual velocity which is 0.183 meter per second so for determining the value of coefficient of velocity coefficient of velocity is equal to the actual velocity over the theoretical velocity and since we already have the actual velocity we are just going to solve for the theoretical velocity and to solve for theoretical velocity we have here this formula this formula is derived from the energy equation where there is a stagnation point. The stagnation point, the velocity of the stagnation point is gradually retarded to zero. So to solve for our theoretical velocity, velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times the gravitational acceleration and the height. So we have here this height here so we are just going to plug in the values we have so square root of 2 times 9.81 meter per second square and we use this 0.065 meters so we can cancel out the meters we have the same dimensions so we'll have same dimensions square root of 2 times 9.81 meter per second square and 0.065 meter and from that we can get that velocity is equals to 1.1293 meter per second so we already have the theoretical velocity so we can now plug in the actual velocity over the theoretical velocity and we will get that the coefficient of velocity is equals to 0 0.162 so this is unitless since we are going to cancel the units for the actual and the theoretical velocity so notice that we have here a uh, known given which is 0 0.69 so there are some cases of problems where there is a given that is actually not already needed so that for solving the what is unknown or what is needed to be solved in a problem so we have not used the specific gravity here